Today we're gonna show you how uh, different models can uh, increase your torque and increase your top speed. Now for this is this what you have in front of you here is a stock 010X motor which can uh, according to the specs written on this can go up to 1200 watts of uh, power output right of course no motors are 100% efficient so if you take about uh, 80 70 to 80 percent of the actual power output that should give you your actual power that's translated into uh, real forward momentum right so let's uh to baseline it let's run it and we'll show you how fast your uh, zero 10x motor can actually run uh, this is using a 60 volt a 60 volt and uh, a power we're going to drive it more than the 1200 watts here just to show you at its upper limit how much can it drive right so the exact amount is we're going to put in about um, 3000 watts in into this motor and we'll show you the the rpm okay so let's go for it okay so we have a Handheld gun. Uh, this is a tachometer. Uh, it's giving about okay. If you can see the screen, it's giving about a steady 2,000, 1,009 of about. There you go. One is jumping around a bit, uh, but I think we can say that it's about 1,939. Okay, that's a steady RPM. Okay, so 1,932, thereabouts. Okay, now in terms of speed, there's a formula for it, but we also have a Bluetooth connected to our controller. So this shows about 93 kilometers per hour. I don't know if you can see it here, but uh, let's see. It shows about 93 kilometers per hour, but that's unladen uh, speed. Okay, so we're gonna show you a more powerful motor one that has 50 mm uh, magnets uh, 15 pole pairs and we'll see how it affects the rpm using the same uh, power input from the controller Here we have installed a Zero uh, Ten X Limited motor. Now this Zero Ten X Limited motor is, um, well, the specs doesn't tell you the wattage because there's a huge variance on the wattage that it can accept. Um, the maximum wattage is normally double of uh, what uh, the motor spec is. So just now, as you saw, uh, on the motor was inscribed 1,200 watts, but if it's double, there'll be 2,400 watts. We punched in about 3,000 watts in there and it could take it unladen, right, for a while. And you saw the, uh, you know, the RPM that it put out. So we're going to put in the exact same uh, power into this motor and you'll see uh, what, uh, what the result is in, like, in a moment. Uh, so let's run it and you'll see. Now go max. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's max mode, right? That's... Okay, so we are getting about 2692. Right, previously in the stock 010X model, it was about 1900, right? 1900. So this is about what we're getting here is about uh, consistently about 2692, right? RPM. Now, what that translates to in speed oh. Okay Okay So, you know, you definitely can feel from here, from where I'm at, where I am 
that the RPM is a lot higher. You know, the 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 air that is pushing out is a lot stronger, and you can hear it. You know, just from the pure um, hum of that motor. Now, so for two six nine two R uh, RPM, uh, the actual speed it's uh, off the charts. It's uh, one hundred and thirty. Uh, kilometers per hour. I don't know if you can see that on your side, but it's uh, I'll try to focus it a little bit So that's about 130 kilometers per hour Using the stock 010x it was about 92 kilometers per hour So, you know there you can see of course in the real world. It doesn't really translate into uh, such a high improvement in RPM and speed but you know that's where you can see it's going so 3000 watts of power from the controller into the motor right it gives you a uh, rpm of 2600 okay but one of the things you got to take note of when you're driving so much uh such a high current discharge into the motor right we can stop it now right is that you know we really have to take um uh, take close look of the the temperature Okay, so when we started, it was about 30 degrees. Now, uh, just by running it offload, right, we're getting about 36.5 degrees. Okay, so, you know, just a matter of seconds, we have, in, uh, the motor has increased in temperature about 6 degrees Celsius. Right, so this is something that we do have to take note of. And, you know, that's why this 010X has a um, dual phase, right, just to receive the current in and, uh, you know, push that, you know, that wheels spin as quickly as possible, right? Um, of course, we also have designed a new hub so that it's able to push the heat out as quickly as possible, right? So now you can take a look. It's temperature is dropping, right? Of course, in a real, in a real operating environment where it's running, the wind itself is going to help cool the motor down, right? So you wouldn't get that um, that big spike in temperature but more like a gradual climb as you see now. So it is, you know, all things considered, right, this limited motor is a much stronger, much faster motor than say what you get in your 010X, your regular 010X. Okay, so let's now take a look at a different motor, right? We compared the 10 inch stock 010X motor and the 10 inch limited motor. Now, the maximum RPM that we could get on the 10 inch, uh, 10 inch limited motor was about uh, 2,790. Now that translates to a speed of about 130 kilometers per hour, uh, unladen, of course. Now if we, now we're gonna compare that against our 11 inch uh, limited motor. Now 11 inch limited, it's not out yet, but this technically can do up to 120 volts. 100 amp discharge uh, without um, any problems. It's also a dual phase, so it's able to um, in, you know, input a lot more current than say your stock 011X uh, motor, which is only a single phase uh, and without horse sensors. So let's give it a try. Let's run it. Okay. Uh, okay. So as it goes, just it jumps around but try to get a stable RPM reading right just move it back and forth so there you go okay this is a stable one it's about 2179 right so 2179 is the max RPM for this hey you may think why is it lower than the the 10x limited motor Right, and that's because it's a bigger wheel. Uh, it's got bigger magnets. True, you know, it make it's supposed to give more torque. But then again, it's only 60 volts and 50 amps that we're pumping through this uh, motor. But this can take a lot more. This can take a lot more. So at that lower range, lower end of 60 volts and 50 amps discharge, this is uh, it goes actually slower than the. 10x limited motor right but with a uh, higher voltage and higher amp discharge it will be able to exceed um, what the limited motor can do